You're watching CNN and this is Connect the World with me, Robin Kerner. Thanks for joining us. So Saudi Arabia's economy is getting a boost in the athletic arena as it gears up to participate in some of the world's biggest sporting events. World wrestling stars made their debut in the Saudi ring on Friday and later this year the country will kick off the World Cup. In the tournament opener against Russia, Becky Anderson spoke to the man helping to drive this change. We are at the King Abdullah Sports City Stadium where a couple of days ago the atmosphere was quite different. It is quiet tonight, but when WWE's inaugural greatest Royal Rumble event was held here, I believe the atmosphere was electric. There were rumors that we wouldn't be able to hold international events such as this. However, the event was historic. Anyone who saw it on TV was unable to imagine that it took place outside the US. Many people, including women, of course, which very much speaks to the new vision for women's inclusion across a myriad of spaces, not least as part of the audience here. How important was that? Women make up half of society. But as part of the vision, Prince Mohammed bin Salman has issued guidelines for us that ensure that we pay attention to the women's aspect and give them all their rights, which we can say have come a little late, but have come at the right time. There has been some disappointment then by the worldwide audience that women weren't actually on the card. Will that change going forward? We're moving forward and we don't want anything to hinder our progress or to be taken as an excuse for delaying that progress while taking into consideration our traditions and culture and our religion, Islam. An event then full of star power and also a little controversy, a moment in time when Iranian and Saudi wrestlers met each other. Politics abound in this region. Was that staged? This is a very normal thing. WWE usually corresponds to timely events. We remember in 1990 when we saw wrestlers from Iraq during the Gulf War, and in the 80s when we saw wrestlers from the Soviet Union and Iran fight against American wrestlers. This is part of the suspense that WWE does. The Saudi football team will be going to the World Cup in Russia. What will success look like to you? We will work our hardest to achieve positive results and to raise the profile of Saudi football. This is the fifth time for us. We're no strangers to the World Cup. We've been away for a while, but we're capable of playing a beautiful game against Russia. Critics say that you intervene too much in the way that the team is run. What's your response to that? This is illegitimate and I do not intervene at all. There's a football federation and a team which does everything. If I was asked to help them, then I help and I support my country's national team. You were also criticised quite heavily around the region for your comment about the Egyptian player Mo Salah. I've interviewed him recently. Um, you will be playing Egypt during the World Cup qualifying stages. You said, for example, the Saudi team would be better off if he wasn't playing. What did you mean by that? When it comes to Twitter, I speak as a fan and not as a minister. When I commented on the Saudi team, it was because of excitement. I may make mistakes and I might be right and I might be harsh in some of the terms I use. But when it comes to Mohammed Salah, he's a great Arab player and has allowed us to lift our heads high as Arabs. I am a fan, but what I wish is he wouldn't play against our team during that match. I want to miss him in this match, just this match. You called for Qatar to be stripped of hosting the 2022 World Cup if it is found guilty of ethics violations. Have you seen any proof? I will postpone my answer to September. We're focused right now on our national team and the World Cup in Russia. September, Biki, I will see you inshallah again. On the bid for 2026, in a tweet earlier this year, you said Morocco was mistaken not to side with Saudi Arabia in the Qatar crisis, implying your country would not vote for Morocco's bid to host the World Cup. 
What exactly is your position, sir? We seek the best interests of Saudi Arabia. We haven't decided on our position yet, but the interests of Saudi Arabia come first. The U.S. is an ally and is one of the strongest and greatest allies for us, as we are to them in the Middle East. Let me tell you something. One of the World Cups I enjoyed the most was in 1994 in the U.S., and there is an unbroken record for the number of attendees there, and it saw the best results for the Saudi team. So you're telling me you're going to support the US, Mexico, Canada bid. <laughs> You're smart, Becky, and you can read between the lines. Do you genuinely care about Saudis and sport? Of course. We were asleep for 15 years, Becky, but now we've been awoken like a Saudi genie and we'll achieve results that'll astonish everyone.